Hi, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be looking at the uh function of x, which is defined as 2 over root pi times the integral from 0 to x of e to the negative t squared dt, where x is positive. And today we're going to be proving this claim, and that is that uh of x is at least delta times the minimum of 1 and x. Well, delta here is just some fixed constant, which is a positive real number, which we'll work out in the proof of this. So let's dive into the proof here. What we're going to do is split this up depending on whether x is positive or negative. Oh, sorry, no, whether x is bigger than 1 or less than 1, sorry. So let's first start by assuming x is less than or equal to 1. And what happens here? Well, then we can say that e to the negative t squared, we can observe, is a decreasing function. As t gets bigger, e to the negative t squared gets smaller. And so therefore, it's true to say that if x is between 0 and 1, t will certainly be between 0 and x, and so therefore between 0 and 1. And so e to the negative t squared will be at least e to the negative 1 squared, because we're saying x is at most 1, and because e to the negative t squared is decreasing. And this thing here is just e to the negative 1. Now if we just integrate both sides between 0 and x dt, and same thing over here dt, we can say that this thing here is at least this thing here. Well, what is this thing? This thing is just a very simple integral, it's e to the negative 1 times x, because e to the negative 1 is just a constant. And now how about this guy over here? Well, this is very similar to the uh function. In fact, it's root pi over 2 times the uh function of x. And so rearranging this gives us the uh of x is at least uh, 2 e to the negative 1 over root pi times x. And this thing here is going to be our constant delta. So this delta here. Uh, is going to be 2e to the negative 1 over root pi, which is just some small positive constant. Okay, cool. Now what about if x is bigger than 1? So if x is bigger than 1, well, we get something much simpler. Ur of x is certainly going to be at least ur of 1. Well, why is this? Well, we can clearly see that ur of x is an increasing function because e to the negative t squared is strictly positive. And so if you're integrating a strictly positive function, it will get bigger and bigger if you make your upper limit bigger and bigger. So as you make x bigger and bigger here, ur of x will be increasing. And so therefore, if x is bigger than 1, ur of x will be at least ur of 1. In fact, strictly bigger than ur of 1. And what is ur of 1? Well, that's just by definition 2 over root pi times the integral from 0 to 1 of e to the negative t squared dt. But we can say that this is bigger than or equal to 2 over root pi times the integral from 0 to 1 of e to the negative 1 dt. Again, using the fact that e to the negative t squared is a decreasing function. And this thing here is just 2 over root pi times e to the negative 1, which is just delta. And so we get the ur of x is at least delta. So either way, if x is bigger than 1, ur er, er of x is bigger than delta. If x is less than 1, ur er of x is bigger than or equal to delta times x. And that proves this claim here. And that is the end of our proof. So a pretty uh, nice property of the error function, or ur uh, of x. And I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, if you are new to the channel, please do give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I'm looking to grow the channel as much as possible. Uh, so any support would be really appreciated. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day. Uh, brother, uh.